great part of the mythology of the Dan is born in the heart of the jungle, in these labyrinthine forests teeming with life where their deities live and where nature and magic melt into one. The Dan have always respected and venerated their natural surroundings as something sacred, as it is the indisputable genesis of their cosmogony. In the interior of this green world, we find the bridges of the spirits. These are not the work of man. The supernatural beings of the forest themselves build these bridges to make it easier for the men who live here to move through the forest. Hundreds of lianas, the resistant living limbs of the jungle, are woven together in the dead of the night by the spirits. At dawn, a new bridge connects the opposing banks of a river or crosses a deep ravine. No one knows how or when they are built. But for them they are sacred because they are made with lianas and everything that comes from the jungle is revered. That is why they take their shoes off before crossing, as a mark of respect. The chief of the secret society of the initiated responsible for the spiritual welfare of the people is also the guardian of the bridge. He will decide when they must stop using it. No bridge lasts longer than a year because the lianas lose their elasticity and become fragile and liable to break. Then they are destroyed. At dawn the people come to the river and see that the bridge has disappeared, just as mysteriously as it appeared. The wise men then meet with the initiated to invoke the spirits and ask them for another bridge. Everything in the bridges comes from nature. There are no nails, ropes or screws, just lianas and trunks in a work of great skill. Only the initiates know how and when a bridge is built. The spiritual chief, who is also in charge of making the sacrifices and offerings, assigns and supervises the work. During these days, no one who has not been initiated may approach the area or enter the forest. They work in a state of trance possessed by the powerful spirits of the jungle. When the lianas are ready, the tom-tom sounds out until nightfall to warn everyone. If a woman or anyone not belonging to the secret society came close and saw them at work, they would be killed instantly. That night the people remain in their houses. No one dares come out. The strange noises coming from the river terrify them. They know it is the powerful supernatural beings of the jungle working for them. At dawn, a new bridge will be consecrated. Legend tells that one day a group of warriors was escorting a princess and when they came to this region, they found a river they were unable to ford. The princess's son fell into the water. The current was very strong and carried him off. As the princess screamed out in desperation, a tree on the riverbank fell into the water, stretching out its branches towards the child, who grabbed hold of them and was able to reach safety. This was the first bridge the spirits gave to the inhabitants of the forest. Among the Dan, education is a long process which only ends with death. By accepting responsibilities and taking on a role in life, they attain wisdom. The most important institution is the Gore, or secret society of the leopard, which is responsible for ensuring justice and respect for the masks. They have the power to sanction and punish those who do not obey the traditional rules and codes. The Dan Ma 
tasks play a part in all areas of life. They serve as a bridge between the physical sphere of the village and the spiritual realm of the forest. Perhaps the most important is this one on stilts called Glegben. It is a mask of justice and greatly venerated. Whenever it comes out, an initiate chosen by the women's society accompanies it, imitating its movements. When there is some dispute between two families or a number of individuals in the community, the Glebgen mask imparts justice. Its decisions are always respected without question. Depending on how the mask is dressed and its colors, everyone knows from the moment it appears the mood of the spirit that day. Red signifies power, white serenity, black feathers ferocity, and the raffia hats strength. The spectators are deeply moved by these displays of balance and skill. For them, these movements are refutable evidence of the powerful magic of the other world.